Welcome to another episode of Mind Your Business, the podcast. My name is Abby and each week I'll be chatting to a different independent business owner about the story behind their business journey and how they built their brand. Enjoy the episode. So hello and welcome to another episode of Mind Your Business. Now this week I'm joined by Pamela from the Little White Gym in Dalgate Bay. So welcome. Hello. Hiya, thank you for joining me. Um, So... Why don't you kind of start by telling us a wee bit more about what you do at the Little White Gym? So it's a private studio gym Mm -hmm. based in Drogheti Bay and it's a little log cabin. So when you come here, it's primarily for personal training sessions. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's completely private, so nobody can see you sweat. It's just me and the (laughs) client in here. Um, So I can start with absolute beginners. So Mm -hmm. anybody who's never lifted a weight before, I can Mm -hmm. teach you the techniques and get you confident in working with weights. Right up to, I've got the full power cage and Olympic bar, so anybody who wants to lift big weights, we yeah. can do that as well. So you can cover all bases then? Yep. Yeah. I'm also going to be launching a small group weight loss coaching class in January and that'll run wow. for 12 weeks. It'll be a maximum of three people. Right. So it'll be the first first three to come in I'll get into that. Yeah, oh, that um, sounds amazing. And that'll just be a bit like Weight Watchers where we weigh in, we'll have a little chat about how we've done in the previous week, mm-hmm. whether we've been eating healthily. Um, I'm not a nutritionist so I yeah. can't give you advice but I can... Uh, guide that discussion mm-hmm. and then we'll do a little body weight exercise uh, class for 30 minutes oh that sounds great mm-hmm. so it's a nice wee sort of yep. close group close wee. group yeah. yeah that's amazing um, so what kind of led you up to opening the gym so I was a couch potato professional mm-hmm. couch potato <laughs> for uh, the first half of my life mm-hmm. and aged about 38 I gave up smoking mm-hmm. I put on some weight went to the gym lost the weight mm-hmm. and then I got interested in working with free weights and working right. with a personal trainer mm-hmm. so for the last 16 years I've worked with a personal trainer and I really enjoy it yeah. I go once a week and I also go to the gym at other times mm-hmm. so that was my hobby mm-hmm. um, and then I got made redundant in March Right. the best part of my previous job was in retail finance but the best part of it that I ever did was training people so right. I decided to combine that skill mm-hmm. with my hobby of being in the gym Yeah. so I've spent this year trainer to be a personal trainer right. and getting qualified and my husband helped project manage building this little cabin mm-hmm. and uh, we opened the doors on the 1st of November. Wow, so was that just from March, that was when the first initial idea sort of came to you? Back in December when I got told I was getting made redundant, right. so I started studying then mm-hmm. and we started the groundworks for the gym on the 1st of April. Wow, so that's been... Quick. It's been very quick. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. And then I had six lovely volunteers who mm-hmm. came in and worked with me over the summer so that I had material for my case studies right, okay. and to give me confidence in the training and everything. So big shout out to my lovely six volunteers. Yeah. They know who they are. So they helped you out. Yeah. So was that sort of, I imagine that's a huge change to go for work in. Massive. Because it was a lot of years you worked there, wasn't it? 38 years in RBS. Yeah. So was that like just such a big shock to go for that? To... Yeah. yeah, it was. Um, so I think the but the benefits are my commute is a minute. Yeah, just not the back garden. The gym's in my garden. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so that's lovely. I'm no mm-hmm. longer getting up at half past five to oh try God. and beat the traffic, at, you know, the roundabout and trying to get into it. Yeah. So that's lovely. Mm. I'm working for myself. So yeah. I choose my hours mm-hmm. to, to a great extent. And I'm doing what I love. So yeah. that is all to the good. Mm-hmm. Obviously setting up a business, I've no experience in that. Right. Um. So that's brand new yeah. and it's scary. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had a lot of help from Business Gateway right. and from Bragg mm-hmm. um, up in uh, Crossgates. It's not Crossgates, Cross Hill. <laughs> um, so the people at Bragg and uh, the Business Gateway people have really helped me right. um, get knowledgeable about what I need to do. Mm-hmm. So that can help you with the business, so the business side, side of it, yeah. yeah. I know you yeah, mentioned, yeah. we were chatting before, you mentioned about like, the marketing that you were getting yes. help with. Yeah, so there's, I've been on um, seminars about tax, about mm-hmm. capital allowances, about marketing, selling skills. I'm going to go on one on advertising and promotions. Mm-hmm. So that's been great. Yeah, and then a lot of friends as well. So I'm a member of Five Women in Business, mm-hmm. and I've had a lot of help from them too. Right, uh, networking, meeting contacts through that yeah. forum that have really helped. So me. do you like networking then? I so, do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's so good. It's a great way, especially for you when you're looking for clients. It's a great Absolutely. way to get in front of more people, isn't it? Yeah. I would really recommend anybody setting up in business to mm. get out there and network. Yeah. Um, five Women in Business have been great. I'm going to a few other forums as well. Mm-hmm. And it's just going out there and talking to people, practicing your pitch. Yeah. And uh, doing that in a safe space. Mm-hmm. You know? That's amazing. So I know you've just launched just yeah. on the 1st of November. And it's been really busy so far, hasn't yeah, it? We were yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've had, uh, I think, about 15 inquiries in the first two weeks. That's amazing. Which is great. Yeah, yeah so that must feel good then to know that people are kind of behind what you're doing. And yes. there's obviously a need for it. I had a gut feeling mm-hmm. that this was something where there was a niche. Mm-hmm. Uh, because there are a lot of people out there who want to work out but who haven't worked out before. Or it's a long time since they've done it. Maybe yeah. they've had babies, not done it for a while. And they don't want to go to a big gym. Mm-hmm. You know, the big gym full of uh, really fit people who look yeah. like they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Big secret, not all of them do. Really? Yeah, <laughs> we're do. all just faking yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's loads of people in gyms that don't know what they're doing. Right. But it's a scary place because yeah. everybody looks like what they're doing. Yeah, what everyone they're doing. does. And yeah. you see the big guys and everyone's oh. really... Well, you know, they're welcome here too. But yeah. I think primarily my clientele will be made up of women. Mm-hmm. And I think it will be uh, women who are either starting exercise for the first time or who are returning to it after a, after a gap. Yeah. Or who want to do personal training and get confidence to go and work out in the gym. In the room. Mm-hmm. So what kind of things can people do here? I know you've mentioned like the weightlifting. Yeah. Um, I know, do you do sort of other... Was it Energizer? Yeah, so the Energizer is just a 30-minute session. Um, I have had periods in my life where I've had stress and pressure Mm -hmm. and I've not felt like exercising. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just need somebody to get you motivated. My own personal trainer is very, very good at doing that when he can see that I'm not motivated. So uh, what we would do in those sessions, it's not about weightlifting, it's just getting moving Mm -hmm. so I've got lovely stretchy bands that we can play with I've Mm -hmm. got sliders I've got bouncy balls that we can play with lovely coloured kettlebells yeah so it's just about getting that heart rate up getting moving and building those exercise endorphins to make you feel better right so you've got kind of a bit of everything a bit of everything yeah yeah and I know you also mentioned when we were chatting um that you kind of tailor everything to each person absolutely yeah so, you know, there are about eight standard movements that mm-hmm. we do in the gym and there are endless variations on those movements. Mm-hmm. So I start off with the very basic movements and then each client will have different skills, mm-hmm. they'll have different body types, they'll have different physiques. Mm-hmm. So every session I then design around that client. Yeah. So making sure that I'm meeting their goals. Mm-hmm. So I want to find out what their goals are. There's no point in me pushing them to build muscle if that's not what they're after yeah. although I hope they are because yeah. building muscle is good yeah. um, but you know I'm going to be looking at that client's goals and trying to design an exercise programme around them mm-hmm. uh, they, typically people will come here once a week mm-hmm. for a one hour PT session and then what I would hope they would do is go to another gym like uh, one of the council run gyms in Dulac or Dogate Bay or mm-hmm. Carnegie yeah. and do their own programme and I will give them a programme to do during their right, own sessions okay. Ah, so they can kind of teach learn them the skills how, here. Teach them how to do the moves and then give them a programme that they can go away and work on on their own maybe twice, another two sessions a week. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good way to do it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so you can kind of get the skills here. Yeah. No, that's amazing. It's important to work out with weights. The government advice now is that people should do a strength session covering all the major muscles twice a week. Right. And that's all people up to the age really? of, you know... 69 I think it is wow. yeah yes yeah see, I always hear that like it used to be more cardio people yes. thought you have to do yeah. it but it's all about it's, when you're doing the weights it's not just to gain like massive muscles it's yeah. just to kind of strengthen your whole body and if you want to gain really big muscles you have to work very very hard at it yeah and that's a diet thing as well mm-hmm. so the bodybuilders work really really hard to yeah. get those visible muscles People shouldn't be scared of bulking up. Mm-hmm. You know, coming here, the exercises we were doing, you will not bulk up, and you can say, "I'm not bulking." Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's about being fit and toned. And yeah, healthy. yeah, I think that is the fear that you start lifting weights and you're suddenly yeah. massive. You're like a big bodybuilder. No, my my aim, my motivation is to get people to be strong, mm-hmm. strong for life, 
and yeah. fit for life. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to, when I'm 75, I still want to be able to get up out of the chair without mm -hmm. using arms, and without making that little grunty noise that you make. Yeah. I want to be able to lift the heavy box and put it on the top shelf. Mm -hmm. And these are the kind of movements that we use in the gym. Yeah. And these equip you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. No, it's so true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously it has been just a while since you opened. So was there any sort of wee bumps along the way that you kind of experienced? Oh yes. <laughs> My husband <laughs> will tell you he never wants to see white paint ever again <laughs> because I decided that the little white gym was going to be painted white. Yeah. And the interior coat of the lovely soft blue went on no bother. Mm -hmm. The white paint it just sucked it up. He painted the whole thing and it looked like he hadn't been hadn't been round oh, it at all. No. Three coats later, he was really not happy. <laughs> he was cursing you yes. in the little white gym. <laughs> and it's not, still not quite as white as I would like it, so he doesn't know this, but he's got another coat to do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him for a bit until you yeah. drop that bomb. <laughs> yeah. So that was one little bump in the road. And uh, the second one was, um, I've got what we call a power cage. So it's just a big framework made mm -hmm. of metal where we uh, put the bars on when you're doing the weights. And we went to the supplier, measured it, measured the height of the beams in the gym, made sure it would fit. Mm -hmm. When it arrived, the actual model that I had ordered was a slightly different design. Right. that didn't fit under the beams. Oh. So my husband put them back in the back of the car and took them off to an engineering company who shaved a few centimetres off the top for oh. me. So that was, again, so sorted. husband came up with a solution. He's yeah. been a bit of a star. Came to the rescue. Yeah. <laughs> and I think our third little bump is just a sense the turn of the, the clocks mm -hmm. and it's got darker. Yeah. Um, my solar lights are not picking up enough sunlight during uh, the day to light the path at night uh, so we're going to have to put some more outside lights on uh, there's not been much sun recently <laughs> no I hadn't it was a bit stupid but I hadn't worked that out that yeah. solar lights <laughs> really rely on sunlight and we don't get much of that and we don't get much of that <laughs> so yeah we're, we're going to get some more lights uh, just to make sure that it's safe for people coming in yeah but it's all you get these wee things when you're starting it and it's yeah. just how you kind of deal with them yeah so the business side of things, obviously the finance mm -hmm. side, I suppose that would be no bother for you, but yeah. was, I know you've had help for the business gateway, but is it kind of a big learning curve, sort of? So the marketing side I thought would be a learning curve, but actually during my career I realised I've picked up a lot of right. things along the way. Yeah. So the great thing about working for a large organisation is you get to do lots of different jobs. Mm -hmm. And in my career I've done lots of different jobs. Right. And I found that I had a lot of skills. And, mm -hmm. and I would really say to anybody starting up a business, you will be surprised at what skills you already have. Yeah, stuff that you sort of just picked up with. You just have to adapt them. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm, I've always been a good networker. Yeah. So that is coming second nature to me, mm -hmm. getting out there and networking. Yeah. And the other thing is to look around and see what skills are around you. Mm -hmm. So my husband is an amateur photographer, mm -hmm. so he's done all the publicity photographs for me. Yeah. My friend is also learning to be a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and she's very fit. She came and did the was the model for the photographs. Yeah. You know, so it's leaning on your friends and your family and mm -hmm. picking up those resources that are, are there for you. Yeah. Because no, people do want to help you. They out, do yeah, want and to if help, you, yeah. If you look, there is the stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you say, family, the business gateway, there's always support there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good though that it's kind of it's and come at quite the naturally. business gateway sessions, mm -hmm. over and above what the lecturer tells you, there's another 12 people in the class yeah. who are all setting up their own business who've got different skills. Mm -hmm. And I've picked up loads of contacts just from being at those classes. Yeah, I suppose that's a form of networking as well, it is. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So when you go to business gateway classes, definitely you need to take the opportunity to talk to people. Yeah. So did you find that okay then, like going back, not so much education, but going back to like training and obviously you had to do like your Going to fitness. studying yeah. was really hard. Was that a big jump? Big learning curve, yeah, yeah. because, well, it's a long time since mm -hmm. I did any formal studying. Yeah, I think uh, once you're out of that, like I've only been a few years at uni, but I think I would struggle to go back yes. and get back into that sort yes. of headspace. And I didn't go to uni. Right. So, you know, I left school on Friday, started work on Monday. Wow. Uh, in 1980. 
So you worked at the same place that whole time? In the same company, same yes. Company. Lots of different yeah. uh, buildings and lots of stuff. I've moved around the country, but yeah, it's been the same company for 30 wow, years. Wow, so that was a big, mm-hmm. a big learning curve then, a big Huge. change. Yeah. And so even when I was in school, you were really spoon-fed mm-hmm. what you needed to do to pass the exams. Mm-hmm. And I think that's changed now. So I think people coming out of school, coming out of uni now, will have more skills, they'll be more self-sufficient mm-hmm. in studying. And yeah. I found that really hard. That's been a tough one. Yeah. But you've got there, though. You've I've got, got there, it all yeah. And... yeah. And I'm really pleased because um, all through my studying there's theory exams you have to do there's written assignments you have to do in case studies Mm -hmm. but the main thing is you have to teach and be assessed in teaching Mm -hmm. and they were the bits that I did well in right Uh, so I got my best feedback for my observed assessments right and that's what I'm really proud of yeah because that could be I think that would be the harder bit for me like the actual teaching yeah but I suppose you said you love the training. I love training. I've done work. training jobs in the past and it was always when I excelled. It was always when mm-hmm. I was at my happiest in my work. Yeah. It was when I was training, coaching people. No, that's amazing. That's obviously what you're you're made for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I wanted to chat a wee bit more about your branding. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll pop up some pictures on Instagram and Facebook when I post this, so yeah. like the gym and your flyers and stuff. Yeah. Um, but where did the inspiration come from for the kind of, obviously the white and then like the bright blue yeah so i had decided i was going to call myself target fitness Mm -hmm. because i was targeting fitness yeah and my very first business gateway session Mm -hmm. the lecturer said to me i think i would check that out in case there's somebody else with that name and he gave me a really helpful handout on business names Mm -hmm. there's a limited company called target fitness who supply fitness equipment right okay really don't want them to think that you're yeah piggybacking on their name right so I came home and bashed my head off the wall for 10 minutes mm-hmm. and then just sat down and brainstormed. Right. And I've got, I've still got the book with a whole page of yeah. brainstorming names and looking them up and Googling them to see who's got that name. Mm-hmm. And I just suddenly went, well, what is it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little white gym. Yeah. Keep it simple. That's what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, it's come, gone down really well. Yeah. Um, so I came up with that and then, you're going to laugh, <laughs> my favourite trainers are this sort of seafoam green colour mm-hmm. and because I really got a bit fed up with all the pink like around the gym, yeah. it seems like every woman's stuff is all pink yeah. and I kept trying to buy this green stuff. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's make it white in the seafoam green. Yeah. So we went with that and then from that came the teal colour and mm-hmm. then the cinnamon colour, which is a highlight colour. Yeah, I love that, that, that teal. It's nice. Yeah. Energetic and bright it and is. bold. Uh, but it's also soft and welcoming. Yeah. So it's not a threatening colour. No. And um, you see a lot of PTs have red and black you know, right. which yeah. is quite aggressive, yeah. um, or quite bold, I think maybe, yeah, it's very upfront. but I just mm-hmm. wanted it to feel soft, welcoming, nobody should feel threatened coming into this space. No, it is quite nice and tranquil, yeah. and it's nice and light and here and bright, and uh-huh. no, I think you've, I think you've nailed it there, I think that's yeah. great. So everything's kind of came from that. Yeah, so it all kind of fit. Yeah. See, it obviously wasn't meant to be no. target fitness. No, it wasn't. It's annoying though when you have that so set in your brain and then you yeah. kind of have to change how uh-huh. it can be. But I just put it behind me and mm-hmm. I said, let's move forward. And then from the moment I came up with the little white gym, everything fell into place. Yeah. And it seemed that then that was the catalyst for all my ideas. I was suddenly able to write copy for the website and right. to, you know, to start bringing things in. And the lady that helps me with my website, big shout out to Alex, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she was able to then take a lot of that stuff and, and write yeah. copy behind that. And just all kind of started to flow. Mm-hmm. So do you have a sort of plan with, like, social media? Do you have, like, a, are you going to focus on, like, Facebook or Instagram or are you, you know, th- not quite yet. yet? At my marketing seminar yesterday, they told me I needed a plan and that's what I have to <laughs> So do. that's what you're working on yeah. next? Yeah, I really had to focus on the studying. Yeah, and course. getting the building up yeah. and getting the first clients through the door. Mm-hmm. And yes, I do have to build a plan. Um, yeah, I have that's to, a hard one though, I have to it? build a Facebook page, I have to build an Instagram page. Mm-hmm. I concentrated on the website because I can point people to that. Yeah, and it's got like, all the information there. Yeah. You'll have so much great content to be sharing on Instagram and Facebook though, won't you? you yeah, can... I've got to write it down. It's yeah. all in my head. 
uh, that's that's <laughs> thing getting it out. Uh, yeah. Um, but there's there's some blogs up there already, so I've been working with Alex on those. All so right. if people want to look at the website, there's um, there's some nice information up there already. On right, the so you're kind of sharing mm-hmm. some wee tips and stuff. Some little tips and yeah. insights, yeah. No, that's amazing. Well, actually, I wanted to ask you about sort of tips. If you have any, maybe for people who are totally new to, obviously they can come to you. Yes. But is there anything, if people are thinking about making that leap into yeah. health and fitness, yeah. is there a place to start? Or? So... Anything you do is better than nothing. Mm-hmm. You're always faster than the person who's on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. True. So if you've never done anything before, get out for a walk. Mm-hmm. Walk for 30 minutes a day. The aim is to get 150 minutes of moderate activity in a week. Right. So you can do that 30 minutes a day on five days a week. Mm-hmm. That 30 minutes can be three blocks of 10. Mm-hmm. So you can do three blocks of 10 in right. 10 minutes just going out for a walk. Yeah, if you can, walk at a brisk pace, swing your arms, get the air into your lungs, get your heart rate up a bit. Mm-hmm. That's a really good start. Drink 68 glasses of water a day. Mm-hmm. That's always good to be hydrated. Yeah. Get good quality sleep. Right. The latest research that's coming out is really clear on we have underestimated how important sleep is. Right. So getting good quality sleep, mm-hmm. um, 78 hours a night for an adult is ideal. Mm-hmm. and you, know, you should be doing that every night if you can and it's not easy with mm-hmm. stress and, and things and people with are busy jobs and they've got yeah. busy lives but that allows your body to repair and recover mm-hmm. and sets you up for the next day and eat, eat healthily there's yeah. lots of information on the NHS websites about how to eat healthily mm-hmm. and yeah, it's not rocket science yeah. eat more veg yeah there's so many kind of it is mad different ways to eat and Mm -hmm. keto and paleo and all this. Well, if you break these diets down, I'm not a nutritionist and I can't advise on nutrition, but if you look at the science behind all of the diets, what it comes down to, bottom line, is a calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. So depending on what diet works for you, that's the right diet for you, Mm -hmm. Um, as long as you're making sure you get all your essential nutrients. Yeah. But actually, if you want to lose weight, a calorie deficit is the only way to do it. Mm-hmm. And there's just a hundred different ways of achieving that. Yeah. So you eat less energy, you consume less energy than you are using mm-hmm. for your everyday life combined with exercise. So if you, you could be working out every day, but if you're not eating right, you're yeah. not going to yeah. see the results. You're not going to see the results. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you won't i put it another way, you will be more successful in your workouts if you're eating well because mm-hmm. your body will be fueled properly yeah. to support that exercise and you'll get better results and you'll have more energy. Yeah, you'll... And then you'll sleep better, which will make you feel better, yeah. which makes you want to exercise. It's a big, big yeah, circle. Yeah, that's a big circle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just stepping onto that roundabout and the first step onto that roundabout is to drink water, get good sleep, go for a walk, eat vegetables. Mm-hmm. It is. It seems so simple, but it is just yeah. that first step that could be so yeah. so hard. Uh. So that's what I hope to do is to encourage people on mm-hmm. the first step. Yeah, to get them moving. And having somewhere like this kind of it's like a motivation to do that and yeah. to kind of change things. And no, I think it's amazing. I'm really excited. Yeah. So is there like a master plan? What do you f- see for the gym? What's your goal? Just. I just want to help people get fit yeah. um, for as long as I am motivated to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the original plan before I left RBS was to get to 60 and retire mm-hmm. uh, and then spend my whole life in the gym. Mm-hmm. So I've done it a bit early. Yeah, uh, I won't be spending my whole life in the gym, but I, I'm sharing it with people yeah. instead of just doing it on my own. No, that's amazing that you're doing what you love, but you're also kind of helping people feel good yeah. about themselves and... Yeah. That must be great. It's like having people to come and play at my house. Mm-hmm. Totally. Getting them involved in yeah. what you love doing. Yeah. Oh, no, that's amazing. Yes, I'm really I'm really excited about the whole mm-hmm. the whole business and getting it moving and meeting lots of new people. Yeah, that is a great thing about starting a business. You do meet so many people. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've met so many people just since starting my business and in this. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so nice. And learning new skills. Mm-hmm. Keeping your brain active. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all the new skills that I've had to learn in terms of the marketing side and the, the training side and all the anatomy and physiology that I've yeah. had to learn. Just feel like my brain's 
expanded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, know? you sometimes don't get that when you're in like a stable job and you're just yes. you've got the same things to do every day and yeah. it's nice to have a bit of change. It is. It's a complete change and it's really yeah. energised me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, my husband says it's like living with Tigger. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Um, so this is a wee section that I call Check Them Out. Mm-hmm. So if you've got any kind of businesses that you love, that have helped you along the way, you can shout them out. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, starting with Martin Shields, who built the gate in the mm-hmm. back fence for us. That was great. And uh, he then recommended Russell Landscapes. And Russell came round and his team built a lovely concrete steel reinforced raft for mm-hmm. the gym to sit on. Um, we bought the building uh, from the Garden Building Centre, which are based at Dobie's in Dunfermline, oh, right. and uh, they arranged for it to be delivered and erected mm-hmm. in one day, which is wow. fantastic. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Um, Ari Electrical, Ricky did all the electrical works for me, and uh, DA Security and Dogetti Bay put the alarms in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, finally, Bay Printing have been absolutely brilliant. They've done branded clothing, they've done leaflets, banners, oh. um, uh, Pop up stand and everything, so they've oh, been a really great help for me and helped me finalise the logo and everything as well. Oh, that's amazing! I'll try. I'll try and find out all the people and I'll tag them mm-hmm. um, on Facebook and Instagram so people can go and check them out. Um, and then the last thing for us to do is for you to plug yourself. So where can we find you? What's your website? Where's the what's the address? So the address yeah. is uh, thirty one Frankfield Place in Dogetty Bay. It's along mm-hmm. at the east end of Dogetty Bay. The website is www.thelittlewhitegym.co.uk and you can phone me or text me on 07826 234 319. Perfect. So people just kind of get in touch and then yes. they can set up like a, a Anybody that wants to come along for a free consultation and a free trial session where we do a wee bit of assessment, All right. um, that's free. Oh wow! Okay. So you can kind of try it out and see how yeah. see how they get on. There's no commitment involved in that, and if they come along and do that and decide it's not for them, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, or at that session, we will discuss the various options and packages that are available and what might be the right thing for each individual person. Yeah. Oh no, that's amazing. Good. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you. And I wish you so much luck with this. I think it's going to be great. Oh great! Thank <laughs> it's you. So exciting. Um, yeah, thanks for listening and I'll speak to you next week with more episodes. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Mind Your Business. If you're not already, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Mind Your Business Podcast for updates on future guests and behind the scenes look at what we've been chatting about in this episode. See you next week.